Hey everybody. So tomorrow, freaking got Virginia coming out of town, and my jackets are taking them on, and a night game at Bobby Dodd Stadium at 7:30 on a Thursday night, which <clears throat> we have a you know bit of a history with Thursday night games. Of course, those are always exciting and cool to be a part of, and I'm gonna be there. Yeah, Sea Dog. That's right. I'm gonna be there. So <clears throat> if you want to meet Sea Dog. Come to the varsity before the game, and we're going to be tailgating there. Um, I'm going to just be going to Bryce Coon's tailgate. He's a re reporter, like media guy for the um, for Georgia Tech, and he's having like a meet and greet thing. So I'm going to be hanging out with them and um, a bunch of people from Twitter and everything. Kind of this like little Georgia Tech community that we got going on. They ha we have we're in like a Discord chat and. Um, check out Bryce Coon's Discord chat if you guys want to get a peek at that. If you want to hang out with C-Dog, uh, freaking hit me up at the varsity tomorrow before the game. Anyway, what do I think about this game? Well, of course we <clears throat> got Brent Key as the head coach now. No more Jeff Collins, so that's pretty sweet. We're winning games now. I'll just come off a of bye week, um, which, which came at a good time. We were a little bit banged up. Jeff Sims kind of got hurt towards the end of uh, Duke, the Duke game there. But we're a cool 2-0 since firing Jeff Collins, so shed a bit of dead weight, and we're pretty much um, kicking ass right now. Hopefully we can you know finish the, this thing out and have a respectable season, and it can be a pretty cool story of um, you know the team really rallying together and, and putting together a great season after this abysmal start. I mean, we couldn't you couldn't have had a worse start to the season than what – that we had pretty much so thankfully that's over brick key seems to be making some great changes we fired our running backs coach over the bye week which was which was crazy to me our running backs seem to be doing a good job and well technically he resigned is what they said but but the way that you know the way it made it sound um from georgia tech and brent key uh brent key was asked about it in the you know, press conference, and he was like, yeah, I wish him the best and, and everything he does. But apparently that, that sounds to me like he got fired, not like he resigned. But anyway, I guess they didn't want to say that they fired him. But Brent Key, when he took over the job, he did say that um, there would be some changes made on the staff eventually, maybe maybe coming in the bye week. And and I didn't expect, I don't think anybody expected to be the running backs coach. I thought everybody thought it would be, the defensive coordinator Andrew Thacker, but hell yeah, our freaking defense has been carrying us for the past two games. So Andrew Thacker hanging in there, I, I thought for sure he was a goner, but nope. Uh, Andrew Thacker, he's been doing a great job. Turns out he may really have well been just held back by Jeff Collins. I thought he sucked, but apparently not. Apparently he's pretty good. So um, really weird um, about our. Our running backs coach, I I thought he'd be hanging in there. We just hired him this past off season, so very very weird situation. And they are very tight lipped about it. Um, we've asked, you know, I, I've seen everybody ask around. Nobody knows what the hell's going on with that. So that's kind of went went down in the bye week. Of course, we also hired an athletic director, so he's going to be making the hire for our new head coach. So I'm stoked for that. Jay Bat uh, Batman from Alabama, and you know. Will he do a great job? Who knows? But I knew I do know that Alabama is 0-1 since we've taken uh, Batman from them, so make of that what you will. But anyway, uh, on to the Virginia game. Well, frankly, this is a game that we should win comfortably, right? Virginia is the worst team in the ACC, so I'm really not thinking that we're going to lose this game. If we do, then that would suck. It would kind of mean that these past two games against Duke and Pitt were maybe a fluke or maybe some. I just don't see us losing, right? And I don't think that is a fluke. I've been saying all along, it, you know, throughout Jeff Collins that we have the talent, we have the players that are there. They just need to be coached better. And I, I so, so it turns out I was right. Turns out, you know, a coach that halfway knows what he's doing, Brent Key takes over, and he's immediately winning with the roster in the middle of the season. Um, so yeah, we got the players. We should be able to kick Virginia's ass there. I mean, uh, listen, this was a game I thought going into the season, I thought there was no way we were going to win because really they blew us out last year. It was a close game last year, but
But that was only because in the last, like, two minutes of the game, we converted two freaking onside kicks in a row. Can you believe that? Two minutes to go, and we still lost. We were down three scores and converted two onside kicks in a row. But <laughs> they really blew us out, kind of choked there at the end, still had a big enough lead to hold on. Um, and I thought there's no way, you know, their offense is too good. Our secondary is too bad. Like, they had this amazing passing offense last year. Um, they were putting up tons of yards. Their defense was bad, but, you know, their offense um, was great. So I thought, well, you got Tony Elliott coming in here from Clemson, and he has a great track record, you know, with quarterbacks and, the, you know, uh, great great quarterbacks and great talent, which is what Virginia had in the offensive uh, side of the ball. At least uh, Brent Armstrong was one of the best quarterbacks in the ACC last year, and he had about, he had all of his top targets come back, uh, Dontavian Wicks and Keaton Thompson. He had um, some of the best receivers come back this year too. So I thought that, you know, Tony Elliott would roll up in there and kind of pick up where Bronco Mendenhall left off. But no, apparently he's a bum and freaking he's ran them into the ground. Their offense is terrible. Their defense is terrible. They're just terrible. They're the worst damn team in the ACC, man. Virginia, man. So... Who knows? Uh, we should. This is a game that we should. We should really kick their ass. Or I mean, we got the talent, we got the coaching, and we got the home field advantage on a Thursday night. And I just think that this is a game that you know. Hopefully, our offense, you know, um, can take a step forward. Hopefully, our defense kind of holds them. Our defense has been playing great, but our offense, you know has been left a little bit to be desired um kind of choked in the duke game at kind of a critical moment last uh week and so you kind of like to see a little bit better than that um you know we were only able to put up 23 on duke um which was not great so hopefully our offense can uh, improve a little bit this game and uh, we can get something going and hopefully get up into the 30s maybe 40 I would love to see us get into the 40s in this game. I'm, I'm just not sure. Uh, you know, we did it for like one game, I think, last year. Or, well, not counting the Kennesaw State game, but we beat North Carolina. Um, and I, I just don't know. Jeff Sims has been playing great. I, I have the faith. I, I know we can – I would love to freaking get in the 40s, but who knows? I mean, hopefully our freaking momentum is going to carry us and we're going to be kicking ass and just we take care of business and handle business in this Virginia game. Um, I mean, look, we're we're at Georgia Tech, right? We've been down. We're not in any position to overlook any game, okay? So I'll be happy with a win, especially 3-0. and Are you kidding me? Brent Keyes is going to take this job over, and he's staring down the barrel of 3-0, and which will surpass. We'll get to four wins. We haven't won four games in a season in four years, and he will immediately take over and surpass that Jeff Collins win uh, total. And uh, so that's ama that would be just amazing. That would be hype um, to go three in a row like that. We haven't won two games in a row since freaking 2018. And Brent Key comes in and does it no problem against two good teams in the Coastal. So we handle, two we handle a couple good teams in the Coastal like that. And I think that we'll be able to handle the worst team in the Coastal pretty well. I mean, no disrespect to Virginia. I don't hate Virginia or anything like that. I actually kind of like them. Uh, we've had a great series. The series is actually tied. Um, so hopefully we can get, you know, get ahead of them here. And uh, we, we always usually play pretty good games. Although this year, if we want to play to our potential this year, um, I'd really like to see us, I'd really like to see us uh, kick some ass this game, you know? Uh, so looking forward to this game, you guys. I'm going to freaking be there. It's going to kick ass. We're going to – I'm showing up. Look, I'm showing up and showing out. Look, we got what we wanted, didn't we? Jeff Collins fired and winning. That's what we wanted, right? And so I think we should all show up to support our players. The Duke game the other week was freaking loud and awesome, and it was not like that And and since Jeff Collins got here. Like, he killed any excitement in the program. And there's finally a bit of excitement in the program um, nowadays. So, hey, show up and show out. Freaking hang out with me. And cheer loud and wear your freaking white and gold. And uh, hopefully we get some freaking Wahoo ass. What even the hell is a Wahoo? Can you tell me that? 
I've had it explained to me a few times, but I don't really listen, so I can always be able to be like, what the hell's a Wahoo? So, if you ask me, uh, well, don't ask me, because I don't know. What even is a Wahoo? Anyway, uh, go Jackets, and go Coach Frickin' Key, baby. Three, oh, three and no, baby. We're coming for y'all, Virginia, and we're coming for the Coastal, too. Uh, go Jackets, I'll see you guys next time.